Welcome to Kingdom Stuff, where we talk about the kingdom of God and doing like Jesus. Well, I'm going to say about uh, five, six years ago now, uh, we were having a little mini conference here. And and um, when it came time for prayer ministry, this uh, woman came up forward for prayer. And uh, she started to tell me what she wanted prayer for. And I said, no, 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 you don't have to. You don't have to tell me. God knows what you need. Normally, I don't do that. I do ask what's going on. But in this particular case, for whatever reason, I just felt impressed like to say, I don't need to know. God knows. So I prayed for her, prayed for God's kingdom to come, the rule and reign in her body for whatever it was that she needed. Well, she came back about nine months later to testify that she had had a brain tumor and she was still alive. She told her story about how the doctors had told her, if you don't get this brain tumor out, you're going to die. Called her children, said, you better get your mom in here or she's going to die. And she said, no, no, no. I really felt God said he's got it. When she went back to the doctors, they were amazed that the tumor had not grown any larger than right after we prayed for her. So I I was like, wow, I can't, why didn't you? you didn't tell me that. And she goes, well, you told me not to tell you. And I was like, you're right. I did. I said, well, you, you should pray about that. And she said, they want, they still want to take it out. It was about the size of a lemon. She prayed about it, decided to go into the hospital and have it done. She was in there two days and back out like nothing had ever happened. They took the tumor out and she's still here. So God came and ruled and reigned. His kingdom came for her. If you enjoyed this briefing, subscribe here or check out our website, kingdomstuff.org or my book, Kingdom Stuff, on Amazon. And we'll see you tomorrow.